Yeah. And Dr. Paul, you, <laughs> when they call on you, you can, you'll be able to unmute yourself on your phone. He spotlight you, Cheryl. Okay. Well, welcome, welcome everyone. Uh, it's so nice to have this Monday night call where we can see everyone. I think it's a great step in, in technology and it's, it's exciting for me. Uh, we do this, uh, Make It Happen Monday, about every two months. Uh, we started this, I think about two months ago. And it's exciting because we do get to see each other. As many of you know, uh, we've been meeting like this, uh, not on Zoom, but on the phone for now 32 years. We've not missed a Monday night. And that's a huge credit to all of you uh, and to the people that you bring to the call. Uh, you know, for many, many years, it has become our Monday night community. Uh, and it's a joy and a pleasure to have all of you with us. Uh, for those of you who may be joining us for the very first time, let me start by introducing myself. My name is Cheryl Cortese. I'm a National Marketing Director with the Juice Plus Company, and I've had that honor and privilege now for 34 years, which uh, still is an amazement to me. Uh, I really um, found myself here in this company after many years in education, and it was going to be something that was going to be very part-time, and I just fell in love. I fell in love with the whole thing, the products, the people, the marketing model, and it has been and continues to be a real joy. Uh, tonight, uh, our program is very special. We have uh, many speakers with you, uh, and you're going to love them. Uh, our doctor tonight is somebody that we all know and love, as you might have noticed when we were welcoming people and you all were coming on. Uh, many of you know him really well and, and personally. So uh, it's, a, it's really a special evening for us all. I would encourage you, if you are um, really joining us for the first time, the first segment of our program, and our program will be about an hour and a half. Uh, our first segment will be Dr. Paul Williams talking about uh, immune strong and the strength of your immune system and how to really support that. But really in life, uh, so many things after the facts come the stories and the stories that support the facts, you might say, uh, that are a result of the facts. And so uh, tonight, there are also some amazing stories. So whether you're a part of our mission, as far as our team and our team development, or whether you would just like to share the idea of the power of our product, I know you will enjoy the stories. Also, if you're joining us for the first time, let me just tell you a little bit about company history, because I think it's always great to know where and how it all originated. Actually, our company, the Juice Plus Company, uh, is 51 years old this year. Uh, started by a very young man back then by the name of Jay Martin, uh, who is still the man who you know, runs our company today uh, and really quite a visionary. We entered the marketplace that many years ago with a product that you're all very familiar with, uh, that smoke detectors. We really were the company that initiated that in home. And so that laid the foundation for huge success to follow. We diversified over the years, going into the fields of water filtration, air filtration, or home use uh, in the early 80s. And then uh, actually, it's not quite 30 years now, 28 years ago, we entered the field of health technology with Juice Plus and the Juice Plus family of products. And, and what a find that's been, not only for our own health and well-being, uh, but for the people we love and those we come across on a daily basis. So tonight you're going to hear about uh, the foundation of the power of the product uh, from a standpoint of your health and those uh, that you love, and also uh, the stories that go along with it. So we're going to start tonight. I'm going to turn this over to Maura Daniels, one of our national marketing directors, who's going to introduce Dr. Williams. And just to tell you a little bit about Maura, uh, she's been in our Juice Plus business for 18 years. And she is a national marketing director, as I said. Uh, I know her very well. She loves helping people. She loves being part of the mission and making a difference of, for health and hope. And, um, you know, this is something that I think we all really enjoy doing together. Heart-centered people who really care about other people and want to be part of something that's for the greater good. So, Maura, I'll turn it over to you and you get the pleasure of introducing Paul. Maura, you're muted. 
that, that would help. Thank you, Courtney. <laughs> I don't know if everybody heard us welcoming Paul. He is loved by all of us. Um, the Juice Plus Company is blessed to have many talented doctors, nurses, and medical professionals. And Dr. Paul Williams is at the forefront of those professionals. He's a native of Romney, West Virginia, graduated from West Virginia University School of Medicine in 1975. He had a private practice in Pennsylvania, and then he moved his family to Atlanta and he did emergency medicine for 22 years. He moved again to Tennessee, where he was the physician for the Juice Plus Company and basically took care of all the employees and their families for free uh, for 15 years. That's one of the bennies of working for this company in uh, Collierville. And even though, he, even though he learned very little about nutrition during medical school, he is very interested in the subject. I'm sorry, guys. He's very interested in the subject. And he believes that most people, including many health care professionals have very little understanding of the importance of plant-based nutrition but they also don't understand the harm they are doing to themselves um, with not getting enough of this nutrition in on a daily basis. So we're in for a treat tonight. I love Paul, he is a good friend. Um, and, and life has been interesting, hasn't it, Dr. Paul? Especially, especially in the last year and a half. So many people I think are doing the best they can to help their bodies fight against disease and illness. However, with all the information out there, I think we are really confused. Many people are really confused on how to strengthen their immune system. So that's why tonight your talk, a, a, a strong immune system, what, what, what's food got to do with it is so important that we hear from you. you. I have learned from you over many years, Paul. I've been in the business 18 years, and I know tonight will be no exception. You are a wonderful person, doctor and friend, and you give information, important information, in a straightforward way that's easy to understand. So what does food, how does food impact our immune function anyway? And how do we build a, and sustain a strong immune system? Well, Maura, thanks a lot. I appreciate the, the kind words and kind introduction. Uh, what I do tonight, I'm certainly going to relate the effects of plant-based or whole food nutrition to a healthy immune system. But I want to do some basic, lay some basic groundwork here first. Uh, and as um, was mentioned in the introduction, I didn't learn uh, any of this in medical school. Most physicians do not have any understanding of whole food or plant-based nutrition, and they don't even know that they don't know it. So uh, we are, well, by the time I'm done tonight, I'm pretty sure that those of you who are new to this are going to know more about this than most of your doctors do. There are three basic points that I like to make and that are applicable here. One is that the human body has a very powerful inherent ability to stay well and healthy. We can minimize the risk of illness and disease and we can deal with problems that do occur and often uh, minimize them or even heal them if we are treating ourselves right. But taking good care of ourselves in order for this to happen, must include giving our bodies enough plant-based nutrition. The interest in this really, well, we've always known that these foods, fruits and vegetables and berries and whole grains and nuts and beans and all of that are good for us, but nobody ever really understood exactly why until the early 1990s, really just not quite 30 years ago, uh, when food scientists began to actually look at what's in fruits and vegetables. Well, why are they helping us? So let's find out. And they began to isolate and identify the substances that they could find in those foods. <clears throat> now, various names are applied to these substances. The true name is phytochemical. Phyto just means it's in a plant. 
Chemical just means it's a substance, but the word chemical is misunderstood by many and is somewhat frightening. So somebody came up with the term phytonutrient, uh, phytochemicals are also used. And basically these are just the substances that occur in the foods that we get from plants. The big surprise in this effort to identify them, however, has been the number. To date, well over 25,000 phytonutrients have been isolated and identified, and they're still counting. And the other part of this concept of whole food nutrition is that we don't need a large amount of any of these thousands of things. We need a tiny bit of everything. It's the synergistic effect of having them all together that is so powerful for us. That's the way the body knows how to use this nutrition. Now, many people, and I used to be one of them, get off on the track of thinking that, well, if this one nutrient is good for me, if a little bit of it's good for me, a whole lot of it will be even better. Therefore, we wind up taking large amounts of isolated nutrients. A couple examples would be 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C, 800 units of vitamin E, et cetera. And that doesn't work. There's very good research now that clearly raises a strong concern about the safety of large amounts of even these very important nutrients. So we're back to this needing a tiny bit of everything in order for our, our bodies to be able to use all of this, to do what they know how to do, to maximize our chances of staying well and healthy throughout life. That's the first big point. And on another part of that that I did mean to include is that this nutrition also affects the rate at which we age. Now, what that means is the rate at which we wear out. So wearing out faster means you're aging faster. And the older I get, the slower I would like for that to go. My definition of the word elderly changes every year. I keep pushing it a little more into the future. But so rate of aging, risk of disease, and the body's ability to deal with problems are the things that this nutrition is so important for. The second major point is that it is essentially impossible to get enough of this nutrition from our diet, from our modern diet. Why would that be? Well, there's a couple things that go into this. Not only do most people not eat nearly enough fruits and vegetables, uh, that's the the current recommendation is an average of 10 servings a day of fruits and vegetables that are ripened on the plant, recently picked, and not cooked. Well, that's a big problem for most of us. Obviously, raw or not cooked uh, is one thing. Most of us uh, eat cooked food. I encourage you, I don't think you have to eat everything raw, but when you can, uh, eat raw fruits and vegetables as in a salad, etc. please do so. But the other one is a bigger problem. Fresh means ripened on the plant and recently harvested. And that's the recommendation, 10 servings and average of fresh raw fruits and vegetables. Well, why is this so important? Why would that little, little item, that little condition be important? The vast majority of those phytonutrients form in the food as the food ripens on the plant. Now the inorganic nutrients, the minerals come from the soil. And if you are, if you happen to be growing some of your food on one of the Juice Plus Tower Gardens, that's what is in the tonic that you put in the tub. Now that's the solution A and solution B that you're putting in the, the water in the tub the inorganic nutrients, but everything else forms in the food as part of the ripening on the plant process. The vast majority of foods, the vast majority of produce available to people these days has been picked green so it won't spoil too quickly. But when you pick it green, you stop the formation of all of those thousands of phytosubstances, those phytonutrients. 
so that's a big problem. Now, thankfully, there is a lot of locally grown produce available to many people nowadays, and that's why the locally grown movement is so important health-wise. Uh, food found at farmers markets or roadside stands, for instance, the farmers, the growers leave the food on the plant a lot longer so that it tastes better because flavor develops as part of that ripening on the plant process as well. So it tastes better so you'll come back and buy more from them. But it also means it's more nutritious. <clears throat> so this is the problem for most people. We don't eat nearly enough fruits and vegetables and the ones we do eat were not ripened on the plant and, and have been cooked. And when you put all of those together, it is impossible to get enough of this nutrition from our diet alone. That's where Juice Plus comes into the picture. Juice Plus, now 28 years old, is exactly that nutrition that we're missing from our diet. It is made from over 30 fruits and vegetables and berries that are all grown on farms and orchards that are contracted to the company. It's not somebody's job to start looking for apples and carrots every Monday morning. We know where all this food is being grown. We know how the soil is treated, how the plants are treated. All of the food is ripened on the plant to its peak of ripeness, which means its highest possible nutrient content, and then harvested. And shortly after harvested, it is mashed up together, ground up together, the fruits together, the vegetables together, and the berries together. And then through a patented or proprietary rapid low temperature process, the water is removed, so there's no heat involved. And I, I did mean to mention that. I mentioned, I left that out earlier. That's why raw is so important because heat can damage nutrients. So no significant heat is involved in this drying process. And that leaves behind a powder that is put in the capsules and in the chewable gummies. That's what Juice Plus is. Now, one of the questions I get often is, well, that, you know, that sounds pretty good, but how do I know that's going to do anything for me? That's not still the food. Uh, and that's why we say, we don't say this is whole food in a capsule. This is whole food based nutrition. And people want to know how we know it's going to work for them. Well, I can tell you what my experience was. I can tell you that even in spite of being a vegetarian for 48 years now and vegan for the last several, Juice Plus has still had a very positive impact on my health in several ways. And I can relate that to people. And this is fine to do, by the way. You, are, you can tell people what your personal experience is. You cannot tell them, promise them that their experience will be exactly the same because we differ from person to person. Our diets are different. Our health is different. So it's okay to tell them what it did for you. That's not proof that it's going to do anything for them. The, I could also tell them about the hundreds to thousands of people I've heard from over the last uh, 26 years that I've been taking this and all of their experiences. Well, that's still not proof for any one particular individual that Juice Plus is going to have a positive impact. The real reason that I can tell anyone that Juice Plus, if their diet does not supply enough of this nutrition, that Juice Plus will indeed have a positive impact is because of the independent research that has been completed and published, looking at the effectiveness, at the results when people start taking Juice Plus. This is uh, quite a number of, of scientific uh, investigations, and we're now over 40 published research papers that look at those effects. They look at measurable parameters that indicate in one way or another a person's greater or lesser likelihood of being able to stay healthy and well and have fewer problems throughout life. So that's why I can tell people that yes, this stuff works. 
Now, what are some of those? I'm certainly not going to talk about all 40 of them, but I want to mention just a few. And because I think these are some very basic ones that, that really play a role in all of them and play a role in our overall health. First, it's been clearly shown in many of these uh, studies that Juice Plus is bioavailable. All that means is that when you put this powder and some water into your gut, these nutrients are very readily and easily absorbed into the bloodstream so that they, they can be delivered to every cell of the body, every organ, every part of the body. Juice Plus does not have to be digested because it's not the whole food anymore. It's the bare nutrients from the food just ready to be taken up into the bloodstream. That's really important for people who have significant digestive issues. And uh, in my opinion, the best example is Crohn's disease. That's an inflammatory autoimmune bowel problem that causes pain and inflammation and swelling in the gut and can result in abscesses and surgery. And these folks have a significant problem absorbing or digesting food so that they can get the nutrients from the food into the bloodstream. And as it turns out, plant foods are some of the worst ones for them to try to digest. The nutrients they need to get better are in the foods they can't eat. Juice Plus is ideal for this situation. And in my experience, every uh, one of the Crohn's patients I've known who has added Juice Plus has seen a significant decrease in symptoms, in the severity of symptoms, and the need for medication. And they can eventually begin to eat more whole plant foods. It's an astounding change in the quality of life. So bioavailability is really good to prove. It's not going to do us any good to have this nutrition go straight through the gut. It's got to get into the bloodstream. Now, the second thing we know this does, and this has been shown in multiple studies, is that it reduces the level of a process called oxidative stress. And here's all that means. When we take in oxygen, and oxygen is used by every cell in the body to produce energy, there are little byproducts left over called free radicals. These are unstable little particles of oxygen. There are a few of nitrogen as well. And because they're unstable, they interact with anything they touch, the wall of a cell, structures in a cell like the DNA or the mitochondria, substances in the bloodstream, the myelin sheath, which is a covering over a nerve cell that must be healthy in order for that nerve to work normally. When a free radical damages, one of these other structures, now that structure doesn't work normally and cells have to spend a lot of energy trying, uh, trying to repair it. And the more of this damage that's occurring, the faster we're wearing out, which is aging, remember, and the higher our risk of illness and disease and the less able our bodies are to deal with problems as well as they should be able to. So certainly it'd be nice to lower that level of oxidative stress, of free radical damage. We need to keep it to a minimum. We can't get rid of it, but we can affect it. Unfortunately, it's easier to increase it. Two quick things to mention. Smoking is number one, produces a tremendous excess of free radicals, and that's why so many smokers look a lot older than they really are. They have sped up the wearing out process so significantly. The second one is a big surprise to people, though, because that's exercise. I have talked to many people who are just astounded to find that if you don't have enough plant-based nutrition on board, exercise actually ages you faster and can increase your risk of health problems. Now, what's in fruits and vegetables that helps with this? Well, thousands of those phytonutrients have the capacity to function as what are called antioxidants. Working together, they interact with and neutralize those free radicals before they can cause the damage that causes us trouble. Now, the ones I, two of the ones I mentioned earlier, vitamin C and vitamin E are very powerful antioxidants, but you cannot take 
large doses of just a couple things like that and expect that to offset oxidative stress. It won't work. You've got to have a little bit of everything. All of these antioxidants work together. So you've got to have them all just the way they are supplied in the food and not in any supplement that you could take otherwise, man-made supplement, where people have decided, well, let's put in a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of another one, uh, so that, um, and they'll put in uh, anywhere from 20 to 100 things and not realize they're still missing over 25,000 uh, other substances. So that's, that's how the, this, that's why this nutrition is so important with respect to the oxidative stress. Another research subject has been inflammation. Uh, inflammation is, there are two types. One is acute inflammation, which is good. This is the redness and swelling and pain and increased temperature that occur when you sustain an injury, a laceration or a burn or a bee sting. And this is the start of the healing process. This is the all of the different cell types involved rushing to that area to start the healing. That's good. But there's also a type called chronic or subclinical inflammation going on. And this increases our risk of various illnesses, especially cardiovascular disease. Juice Plus has been very clearly shown to reduce the level of that chronic inflammation that's occurring. One of my favorite research areas that's been, been uh, looked at with Juice Plus is a dermatology or a skin health study. The skin is the largest organ in the body. It's our outward protective covering. And in this study, it was found that when Juice Plus, uh, when people took Juice Plus, it increased the microcirculation to the skin. That means the tiniest little arteries, the arterioles and the capillaries are working better, delivering more blood to the skin. The skin becomes thicker and more dense and better hydrated. It is now a better, a healthier protective covering. And that's really, uh, that's got to be a good thing for us. My own skin health experience has been that even being as light colored as I am, I don't sunburn nearly as easily anymore. Now, any of you who have children likely remember that when they were babies and you fed them a lot of strained vegetables, they turned orange. Well, those are the uh, protective carotenoid antioxidants in vegetables in particular. And that's why I'm a little bit orange and very happily so. And any of you taking Juice Plus, uh, if you look at your palms, especially, and kind of uh, press the, uh, the pink or the reddish color out, you'll see that underlying that, you're likely orange. And this is a good thing to show your, your uh, prospects uh, when you're talking to them. You can say, hey, let me just see your hand a minute. And a lot of people have, with, when you press the, the um, blood color, if you will, the reddish coloration out of the palm underneath, they're very pale. And it's a good thing to just kind of point out to them. Um, taken together, and this is going to be in, in my opinion area uh, that I think this research has also shown us. Uh, when we look at these various things I've mentioned, I think this has very, very significant import for diabetics. A couple of, a couple of reasons. One is that uh, people who take Juice Plus have found it, diabetics who take Juice Plus have found it easier to regulate their blood sugars. And we have found in one of the studies I had not mentioned that the A1C, the test that tells you what your blood sugar has been doing over the last several weeks, uh, is lower. In other words, your the, the blood sugar has been better controlled, and that goes along with that. Second, diabetics are more susceptible to infections than non-diabetics. And I think that the healthier immune system that I'm going to mention here in a moment, I got a little ahead of myself here, I guess, uh, is going to make a big difference there. And also 
diabetics don't heal skin injuries nearly as easily as non-diabetics. And I am quite sure, in my opinion, the healthier skin is going to turn that around. So let's talk about the immune system now, because this is another area of research that's been looked at in, in several studies. <clears throat> what is the immune system? Well, the immune system has the job of protecting the body from foreign invaders, viruses, bacteria, parasites, pollen, even toxins in some instances. And it's made up of a multitude of cell types and structures and substances. And I'll mention these a little bit here uh, as we go along. Uh, it's, most people are mo more familiar with the, the cells, the blood cells, the white blood cells, for instance. When you get a blood test that includes a CBC or a complete blood count, one of the things is the white blood cell count. And that usually goes up in a bacterial infection. It often goes down in a viral infection, but it's, it's a good one to know that it's normal. Now, the white blood cells are made up of several different types, subtypes of white blood cells. So um, a lot of those are, well, one of them is called the PMNs or polymorph and nuclear cells or just um, often white cells just talks about that, but then there are also lymphocytes and there are several types of lymphocytes. There are eosinophils, which are elevated in allergy and parasitic infections. There are basophils and macrophages and mast cells and uh, all kinds of things. And they are, they can be measured and different ones respond to different situations, but that's just one part of the immune system. The, there are a, a number of organs that are involved. You're all familiar with the lymph nodes that we have. And by the way, it's L-Y-M-P-H, lymph. And you're most, most likely you're aware of the ones in the neck, right under the back of the jaw, they get enlarged and swollen when you have tonsillitis or a sore throat, but they are scattered throughout the body. And their job is to filter viruses and bacteria uh, and, and, and other substances that should, shouldn't be there out of the lymphatic fluid. Now, what's that? Well, when blood gets out into the tiniest little vessels, the capillaries, some fluid leaks out of those into the surrounding tissue. And that then is collected back, uh, well, it's collected and drained back through the lymphatic system back uh, into the main blood system. But first it goes through all of these lymph nodes. And that's why they become swollen, enlarged and swollen when, uh, when they're inflamed by fil because they're filtering out infectious particles. They also will enlarge when cancer is involved they, because they're filtering out cancer cells. And uh, so that's a part of it. The spleen is part of it. The spleen is a, a roughly fist-sized organ in the left upper abdomen that filters a lot of uh, abnormal stuff out of the uh, out of the bloodstream, uh, and uh, it also filters out damaged blood cells. The um, there are proteins that are involved as well, and these are the antibodies that the system produces to attack viruses and bacterial a bacteria. So there's a whole lot of different parts. Now, when we talk to talk about the, the immune system itself, there are two basic big parts of it. One is the N8, I-N-N-A-T-E system. That's what we're born with. And this is an immune system that just in general can attack anything that shouldn't be there. It's uh, part of it is in fact hereditary. You get some um, um, immunoglobulins from your mother 
IgG and IgM and this sort of stuff. And those are involved for several weeks until other things start to take over. And that's so that's what you're in, uh, born with. And it is able to respond to invaders, by viruses, bacteria, et cetera. Then there is the adaptive or acquired immune system. And this is the part of it that learns what it should attack. It is exposed to, let's say, a particular virus, and it will recognize that virus. It will store information about it. And then if that virus ever shows up again, it recognizes it and can attack it and keep you from getting seriously ill or ill from that virus again. And this is what is being employed when immunizations are given. An immunization is an inactive form of a virus, most of them, some of them are bacteria, but it's an inactive form or a, a deactivated or even just a part of it that the system will become uh, sensitive to and therefore recognize that when it comes around again and be able to control it and keep you keep it uh, keep you from becoming really uh, really sick from it. Another thing I meant to mention about the cells is many people have heard about T cells and B cells, et cetera. Those are two major types of cells in the immune system. The T cells come from stem cells in the bone marrow that migrate to an organ in the neck that is very large in the newborn and gradually withers away to almost nothing in the adult called the thymus, T-H-Y-M-U-S. They go there and are converted into T cells. And those are one type of uh, immune cell that help uh, regulate other cells and help the immune system know what to attack and what not to attack. Then there are also B cells, and these are ones that mature in the bone marrow. And these are the ones that actually produce antibodies when needed. So let's talk about this for a second now. What happens when the immune system does not have enough of the right nutrition? Well, many of these components, these cellular components become underactive. The T cells are one of them. There's also one called a natural killer cell which has the job of finding things like cancer cells that shouldn't be there and getting rid of them. I would sure like to have those working normally. Well, many of the T cells, including the natural killer cells, become underactive when they're poorly nourished. This, well, there, then there's one type of T cell called a regulatory T cell, and it has the job of regulating the activity level of the B cells. B cells produce antibodies which are needed to attack and deactivate or inactivate viruses and bacteria. But they should be produced only when a T cell tells the B cell to do that. If the T cell is underactive, now nothing's in control of the B cells. And the B cells begin to produce antibodies all the time. So now there's a significant excess of them running around in the body with nothing to do. So they begin to, uh, to attack some part of the body, a healthy part. And this is the start of an autoimmune disease where your own immune, immune system is attacking some part of your body. You're aware of many of these uh, diseases, lupus, scleroderma, rheumatoid arthritis, ulcerative colitis that I mentioned earlier, Crohn's disease, um, fibromyalgia is probably one, chronic fatigue syndrome, things you've never heard of like Sjogren's syndrome and dermatomyositis and temporal arteritis and uh, just a whole host of them. At least 100 different health problems are considered autoimmune now. Well, in the, the Juice Plus research, it is evident that Juice Plus brings those underactive components back up to essentially a normal level of activity. And that appears to bring those overactive B cells back under control. 
This is going to have a huge impact on people with autoimmune problems and also people with allergies and asthma because it is that overactive B cell that is hypersensitive, it's hyperreactive, it's overreacting to pollen, et cetera. And our experience, our anecdotal experience with this is that people with allergies and asthma have far less severe symptoms when they get more of this plant-based nutrition. Okay, well, so with, without enough of the nutrition, you're not gonna have as healthy an immune system as you could. When you add more of that nutrition, it's going to be better. So I, it occurred to me recently and uh, just, trying to think of all the different ways maybe I can say something to someone to help him or her understand the importance of this nutrition. Uh, and a lot of people just still don't get it. Uh, part of that is because we've just been inundated with so many things over the years that are supposed to be the latest, greatest magic cure-all that um, when it comes right down to it, what we need is fruits and vegetables. That just doesn't sound exciting enough to most people. So it occurred to me that I can say, it, it might work with some people say, well, look, you know, here's what I believe. But if slowing down the rate of aging and decreasing inflammation and having a healthier immune system don't sound like good ideas to you, then don't take this stuff. I'll talk to you later. I got too many other people to go see. I think I have covered what I wanted to cover about the immune system. I hope it was clear. I would be happy to hear from you, from many of you, if there was something I said that was not clear or I did not uh, make a point clearly enough. Uh, my best wishes to each and every one of you. Keep your immune systems healthy and your body's wearing out as slowly as possible, please. And I'll look forward to seeing each and every one of you as soon as possible. I am going to stop there. Dr. Will Dr. Williams, you were incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And just for the record, I think fruits and vegetables are very exciting. <laughs> so <laughs> right. when you really uh, understand it, yes. You are our bionic man. For those of you that don't know, Dr. Williams had a hip replaced just four weeks ago. And here he is giving this incredible training and sharing this so thoughtful and important information. From my heart to yours, Dr. Williams, thank you. And I give it to you, Cheryl. Thank you. And thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Maura, but thank you, Paul. Uh, I've been listening to Paul for many years and I love it every time. I learn something every time. And like Paul, I keep saying, you know, my definition of elderly is way in the future. <laughs> and I think that's, that's thanks to Juice Plus as well, uh, is that, you know, uh, I love hearing that somebody knows how to explain the power of what happens. Uh, I feel like the power of what happens has happened to me and my family. Uh, I was one of those people that, you know, they tagged with fibromyalgia, but that's been so long ago, I can't remember what that felt like. That's, and so that's been a real blessing. And I love the fact that even though I don't really know how to explain all, and I'm, we're fortunate that Paul can, but I love the fact that my T cells are doing what they're supposed to do and my B cells are not running wild. <laughs> and uh, that, you know, uh, it's something that is not only wonderful for, um, for us, but for everyone we come across. And we've seen this over and over. We've had Juice Plus now almost 30 years. And for 30 yeah. years, Paul, yeah. how long have you been with us too, with the Juice yeah, Plus? Yeah, well, let's see, I've been taking Juice Plus uh, 25 years now. Yeah, and myself 28. So, you yeah. know, we're just, we're just gonna keep on trucking here. That's right. <laughs> Get the bionic parts if you need them. But, uh, <laughs> Of, of all the people that I've I've known over that 25 years, none of us looks a day older. Absolutely, and we'll all attest to that, right? <laughs> right, Cheryl. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut uh, check out now. Thank, thank you so. Thank you, Paul. Bye. Thank you so much. Great to have you with us, and uh, you know, for all of us, whether you're a partner with us in our mission, whether you're a customer, 
uh, we all have stories. Our lives are about stories. Uh, we have stories that are, you know, happy and good. We have stories that are challenging. Uh, we have stories about the people we love and we have stories about our health and our mission with health. Uh, good stories and some challenging as well. Uh, we have stories about our lives and how they shape up. And so I'm gonna invite you to stay with us for the rest of this program, which is probably another 30 minutes or so. And here's some stories uh, that I think you'll uh, not only enjoy, but uh, maybe be a little wowed by because they continue to wow me all the time. And that's one of the things I love about what I do is that I get to be part of someone else's success story uh, from a health standpoint, from a life you know, standpoint, from a you know, business standpoint, we get to be part of each other's success. <clears throat> and I'd like to introduce to you someone who uh, certainly uh, has had, uh, I guess you would say, renewed immune strength uh, because of Juice Plus. Uh, he's going to share his story with you, and I'll tell you a little bit about him. Uh, there he is, and actually Maura is the one who came across uh, Hamilton to begin with, I think. And so uh, she's kind of responsible for, for finding him. But Hamilton Brower describes himself as one of the many spiritual beings here on the planet who is having a physical human experience. He's a fearless adventurer who loves travel and experiencing local cultures and building connections with local people. A voracious student of life, eager to learn from every experience and opportunity. He's been an advertising executive and partner in an award-winning agency in New York City an online entrepreneur, quite successful at that, a motivational award-winning author of Magnificent Worlds, Words to Live By is the name of his book, a book of character traits and values. Uh, he's a survivor turned thriver, living with HIV and AIDS for the past 33 years, and now a passionate heart-centered man living in service of others by sharing his purpose and creating his legacy with his nonprofit organization which is called standupforhealth.org, inspiring others to become the best possible versions and living the healthiest lives they possibly can. So he's immensely grateful and proud that his path has led him to become a partner uh, with the Juice Plus Company and align with us in our mission. So Hamilton, I'm gonna turn it over to you and uh, you tell us a little bit more about yourself and your story. Thanks so much, Cheryl. I appreciate that very much. And I, gosh, I didn't realize that that introduction was going to, I forgot that it was going to tell so much of my story. <laughs> I don't know about all of you, but I, I really wish that um, I had had an awakened doctor like Dr. Paul back in 1988 um, when I was diagnosed um, HIV positive. And I think, you know, no one needed a stronger immune system than I did um, back then, I'll tell you that. That was at a time, um, just to set the framework for some of you if you don't remember, um, when pretty much anybody who was diagnosed with HIV um, was dying. And 94% of people with the diagnosis um, didn't make it back then. Um, so I was working in advertising in, in 1988. And interestingly, just as a side note, it, it is a little strange. I wrote a check today and realized today is September 27th, 33 years to the day I was diagnosed, which is very interesting that I'm speaking about it tonight. Um, but, you know, I, I obviously I, I, I was in my 20s when I was in, in New York City in advertising. And I, I thought like any 20 year old, I was invincible. You know, I could do anything. And this wasn't going to nothing like that was ever going to happen to me, even though a lot of my friends were getting sicker around me. And this was this mysterious illness that nobody understood at the time. Um, I was working really hard. I was playing equally as hard in, in advertising. Um, and I, I guess like any 20 year old, I was living a little bit of a selfish life. I thought this isn't gonna happen to me. I can just ignore it. But in support of my friends who were getting sick and I think just to do what I felt like was the responsible thing, I went and had a 
an HIV test by my doctor. And the call that any, was I 24 years old then? Wow. Any 24 year old didn't want to get um, was a few days later from the office manager of the doctor's office saying, um, Dr. Newman would like to make an appointment with you. And I didn't feel like I had the time <laughs> to, to go, but I, I just, I, I convinced them somehow to um, tell me why they wanted me to come in and have an appointment over the phone. Um, in any case, I, I basically um, left the office that day and went straight to the gym, which was something that I never did really before. I, I was an athlete and I worked out like crazy, really. Um, but I, I stepped it up even more um, when I got the diagnosis. I went right into survival mode, which um, as many of you probably know, the fight or flight mode, I went into fight. And um, that is a highly um, chronic inflammatory mode to exist in. And um, little did I know at the time, um, I was going to exist there for about 25 years. Um, that's a long, long time. Um, in hindsight, I can say that it was way too long to be stuck in survival mode. Um, the brief like synopsis of, of that time period, because I, I want to get to the solution, to the good stuff, um, was in 1995, it was seven years later, I was doing everything my doctors said that I should do. I basically handed over um, the responsibility of my health to my doctors something that you do kind of when you're a deer in the headlights and you get a diagnosis like that. And um, I did everything they said, you know, I was doing the blood work. I was going to the doctor once a month. Um, I was taking the meds that they were experimenting with at the time. And um, what I didn't realize was both the virus and the, the treatment. Um, we all know the treatment sometimes can be worse than the, the, the illness itself. Um, it was all catching up with me. And in seven years, by 1995, I was diagnosed with full-blown AIDS. Um, I know a lot of people look at me now and think they shake their heads and think, wait a minute, what? Um, it, it seems almost unreal. Well, tell me about it. It seems unreal to me also. Um, it was a, a meeting in 1995 with some of my doctors um, where they, in an attempt to be compassionate, told me that, you know, they recognized what was happening to my physical body and that they knew that I was aware of it too. Um, and it was deteriorating. And that if they were in my shoes, they would go home and get their affairs in order. The words that I heard were, go home and prepare to die. And I... Um, I think I needed to be brought down to rock bottom at that point um, because I basically <laughs> had a huge mindset shift in that moment. I slammed my hand on my doctor's desk and I got right in his face and said, no, doctor, that will not be my story. And in that moment, I took my life back. I took responsibility for my health back. Um, which shame on me, I had given away before, but I needed to take responsibility back because I need to become more of an active participant in my own health. Um, again, I thought I'd been doing everything right, but nobody was talking to me about nutrition or healthier lifestyle or um, you know, certainly like what I could be eating, what I shouldn't be eating. Um, occasionally they asked you if you were smoking, or how many drinks per week you had. Um, that was pretty much it back then. So I started on a quest to um, find my own path along with um, still maintaining the protocol of medications um, for HIV at the time, whatever was the newest thing, um, because thankfully there were innovations being made all the time. Um, but it wasn't nearly enough. Like you all just heard what Dr. Paul was saying, 
I mean, my T cells at that point were non-existent. I had no immune system left. I had developed um, KS lesions, which is a type of skin cancer. Um, I had developed meningitis. That was one of my opportunistic infections um, that tried to get me. Um, I, I had at one point a um, uh, huge <laughs> inflammation-related um, heart attack um, where I needed eight stents to be placed. Um, the doctor came in at the end of, of that stent surgery and said, you've got what I call a full metal jacket. And I looked up and hit him and said, why did I think it would always look so much cooler than this? <laughs> and um, I didn't lose my sense of humor through it all. Um, but what that did do for me is it set me on a path to find the doctor that I had been searching for for all those years. This was in 2012. So it was whatever that is. I can't do the math in my head right now. About 25 years later, I was introduced to a functional medicine doctor who literally changed the course of my life. Um, whether she knows that or not, I think she does. And she, she educated me about nutrition, that we are a first world country loaded with malnourished people. Um, and we all know a lot about all this, right? I'm not gonna go into the sad diet and, and all of that, but um, I couldn't get away with just eating healthfully and going to the gym, which is what I was doing. Um, I had to be uber healthy and I didn't know what that looked like. Well, she taught me and she taught me about um, our body's ability to detox and how important that is to do on a daily basis and why it's important for us to be giving our bodies the exact ingredients that they require in order for them to be able to detox properly. That's what is going to allow our bodies to have optimal health, to experience optimal health. And this was the beginning of my um, shift from survivor to thriver. Because once I started to understand what was going on physiologically underneath all of this, and she was helping me and introduced me, obviously, to Juice Plus, um, she started me on a double dose of Juice Plus. Um, I, I quickly <laughs> um, became a rep. My, one of my best friends at the time had become a, a rep, a partner, and asked me to buddy with her. And I did that right away. I was just all about the yes. And I, um, I realized that you all can tell I'm not shy. I'll talk, talk, talk. I realized that the more I shared, the more um, money I was bringing in every month. And that was simply a reflection of how many other people I was helping. So for the first time in a very long time, I wasn't just focused on myself. I wasn't just focused on surviving another day. And I got out of the selfish mode and way into the selfless mode. And that felt really good. It was almost like a drug for me because it just kind of pushed me to do even more. And I can't tell all of you all of the different things that Juice Plus did for my body. Um, as Rick Du Bois, many of you remember Dr. Rick, um, one of my favorite docs, um, he used to say, and he would do it like this, he would say medications do things to our bodies and whole food nutrition and preventative healthcare do things for us. And I'm a very visual person. And when he would do that, all I saw with preventative healthcare and whole food nutrition was the foundation of health. And that's what the visual was in my mind. So I kept thinking, these are the exact ingredients that our bodies require in order to heal themselves. Because our bodies are divinely designed. I think we all know that really divinely designed to heal themselves. But we have to step up and give them the right things, just like Dr. Paul just said. 
We have to give them the right ingredients. And I could not believe when I was introduced to Juice Plus and what it did for me. The primary thing that it did for me was it supported my immune system out the wazoo. Uh, my immune system was stuck at a reasonably healthy level um, over the years of doing some things right. Um, and after just seven months on Juice Plus, because my body was craving nutrition, I was starved for it and I didn't even realize it. And once I gave it to my body, my immune system doubled in seven months. And I literally burst into tears. So did several of my doctors who, you know, continue to ask me to this day, tell us what you're doing. <laughs> and I tell them over and over. And um, some of them have heard, which is great. Um, the other things that it were, were so obvious was that my um, heart um, markers, my congestive heart um, issue markers went back down to normal right away. Um, my inflammatory markers um, leveled out to normal levels. Actually, somebody had told me at one point when I was in my 40s, mid 40s, they said, you've got the inflammation level of a healthy 20 year old. And I was like, yes, it's the first time anybody had ever said that to me. Um, there's so many things that that they will do for our bodies. And like Dr. Paul said, based on what our body's needs are. So I never go out and promise people that this is what it will do for them. This is just what it did for me. And it turned my physical health around and on my quest to um, become a thriver and help other people. I also found my passion, my real passion in life was to look way beyond myself. I didn't want to look at myself anymore. I wanted to look and help as many other people as I could. So I, I became, not overnight, but <laughs> fairly rapidly, I became a heart-centered um, servant to truly go out and share my story proudly and with confidence and conviction so that I could help as many other people see the value of whole food nutrition and what it can do for anybody's body, anyone's physical health. And I very enthusiastically share the business every time I share the product also, because you never know who you're going to talk to. You never know where they're going to be at what place in their lives. And the last thing I'll say is just that, um, you know, thankfully, um, both my functional medicine doctor and my best friend at the time had the courage and cared about me as a person enough to go out on a limb and share this information with me. And I can't help but think, what if they didn't? Where would I be? I wouldn't be in a thriving position now. And I just encourage all of you to never hold back. You never know who you're going to talk to and how badly they might need you and our solution. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you, Hamilton. Just so, such a beautiful story and, and so well shared with everyone. And uh, I mean, again, I, I love that to have the courage to go out and share with everybody because you truly don't know what other people are dealing with. And, and the word, what if, you know, what if, what I think of, about my own life, what if my sponsor, Jeff Roberti, had not, you know, what if he'd taken the day off the day he found me? My whole life would have been totally different. And uh, look at yourself, you know, if that one person hadn't been, you know, courageous enough and to go past, you know, what the traditional thinking was, uh, maybe at the time, what a difference that's made for your life. Actually, when you say what if, every now and then we capture uh, a bit of this on video. And there's video that Actually, Lauren LaHav, uh, who is one of our national marketing directors, put together, uh, I think it's been at least 12 years ago. And what we'd like to do, it's a very short video. Uh, we're going to share it with you right now, but I want you to pay close attention to the people who are sharing their stories at that time, because we're going to revisit some of those people who now, 12, 13 years later, uh, are still on Juice Plus and what's happened to their lives. I've always loved those kind of things where 
you get to see you know something that happened a number of years ago and then you get to track it a little later so as you watch this and watch some of the stories you'll hear here pay attention to a little girl named aurora because you're going to hear her again so uh courtney i'm going to go back to you we'll show this short video and everybody you know pay attention because you're going to hear from some of these in real life today one second. There we go. We're going to put it up for you right now. And there we are. Six and a half years ago, my friend Jeff Roberti invited me to a Juice Plus conference. He said to me, Lauren, just come and see what it's all about. And if you're not interested, you can at least say that you gave it a strong no. What if I had said no to Jeff like I had for 17 years? What if? What if I hadn't called my friend Amanda, who was diagnosed with lupus at 26 years old? What if I hadn't have read Mickey's post on Facebook about her taking her daughter Aurora again to the hospital? Aurora has spinal muscular atrophy, the number one genetic killer of kids under the age of three. What if I hadn't told Nancy who had had several miscarriages? What if we hadn't contacted Luke, whose daughter Faith had open heart surgery at the age of eight? What if I hadn't picked up the phone so many times to call the people that I love from around the world and offer them this opportunity to be a part of this business? What if I had decided that, oh, they're gonna say no? I just kept asking myself, what if we could work with the company that always had our back and supported us to be successful? What if we could work every day with the people that we love the most, no matter where in the world that they are? What if we had the power to shape our lives and our own destiny, to spend more time with our family and friends, and make money and have fun doing it? What if we could change people's lives and their health for the better globally? What if we could make that kind of difference? Thank you to all of my incredible team for your hard work over these past six and a half years and so many unforgettable, fabulous moments that we've created together. My sideline support and friends Thank you for everything. We will never have to wonder what if, because we do it together every single day with Juice Plus. It's true, the best is yet to come. I told you. Kidding me? Well, such such joy in that, and and again, it's it's great to look at look back on memories, but it's also really wonderful to be part of that experience and continue to be part of that experience. Uh, really being part of other people's success and. You know, as I've watched that, and, and even though it was a little blurry, if you want to go back to YouTube and go to the What If video with Lauren Lahav, you'll you can see it again, uh, see it clearly. Uh, but you know, the the message I think is there is it's it's all about the stories, it's all about the people, uh, it's about sharing the story, and from a standpoint of really um, encouraging everyone to uh, not only you know, be a partner, be part of the mission, uh, be part of the mission, even if you love the product and you just tell the people you love about it. Uh, that's huge because we're back to, you never know what difference 
uh, it can make. And so stay with us a little bit longer and you're gonna hear from some of the folks that were actually in that video. But right now I'm going to go to Courtney uh, Shaw, who is uh, gonna share some things with you. She and Molly Hahn, uh, and they're going to talk to you about the story and putting the story together uh, and how powerful that is as far as stretching out and sharing this with the world. Just to tell you a little bit about Courtney, um, as she's a mom of five. Uh, she's an, uh, an international marketing director with the Juice Plus Company. Uh, she's a fitness professional for 30 years. She's married to a national marketing director, John Shaw and helping others to shine brightly uh, in their story and their self-confidence. And that's what we wanted to convey tonight was the story is something, if we talk about the courage to share with others, it's just a matter of making friends and telling the story. So uh, where Courtney's concerned, I know that uh, she built her team. Uh, what is it, Courtney? I think your, uh, your children, you've got five, they were really small, <laughs> you know, when you were dead. <laughs> Now, your oldest son is what, 25? Like, I can't believe that. Somebody's going to have to show me his birth certificate because, you know, I had to imagine you could have a 25 year old. So, anyway, uh, share with us. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cheryl. I really appreciate it. All right, you guys. So, the story is what it's all about. And this is what we know that facts tell and stories sell, right? And so I'm really excited to get to introduce you to my friend, Molly. I'm going to bring her over and add her to the spotlight. There she is. So I met Molly um, with this amazing event that myself and four other beautiful souls put on every year. It's a virtual event. And um, Molly, I did not know her. Someone introduced her to me. She was already in the business. And she had a beautiful story, but what I got to do was work with her on making her story just shine. So I'm going to have her share. I'm going to go off screen and then we're going to come back and have a little conversation. Molly, thank you so much for being on tonight. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so humbled. Uh, hi everyone. My name is Molly Hahn. I'm the mother to an almost two-year-old boy named Huxley and we have a baby girl on the way. My husband and I run a CrossFit gym here in central Illinois, and we've been doing that since early 2010. Eight years ago, I started eating Juice Plus, and since then, I've enjoyed the freedom and relief that I get from flooding my body with all these plants. There's less expenses going towards medical bills and more time on my hands uh, just from having such great health, and it feels so good. Six years ago, I decided to sign up as a partner with Juice Plus to help offset my own costs, but I also saw there was a potential business opportunity. At this time, I was a really competitive athlete trying to do everything that I could to support my body and my health. I dabbled a little bit in sharing Juice Plus with people here and there, but I didn't really get a fire lit under me until February of this year. I had a pretty major surgery scheduled and I wanted to heal as quickly as I could. I love research and that's one of the reasons I love Juice Plus so much. And I watched the Juice Plus clinical study video about wisdom tooth surgery and I was blown away at the results of the study of those people who took Juice Plus. So I decided a month prior to surgery and then a month post-op that I was going to at least double up every day and some days triple up. I saw so many incredible changes that I felt I needed to just shout from the rooftops about Juice Plus. I realized that for the last six years, I would kept fairly quiet about it. And it dawned on me that I could actually be doing a disservice to people. I could be holding back someone's healthy life from them. I could literally change someone's life by sharing Juice Plus with them. I just had such an aha moment. I saw how powerful doubling and tripling up on Juice Plus for nine weeks was for me, someone who was already healthy. So I had to stop and think, man, what could this do for people who don't, aren't, or can't take care of themselves? The impact that it could have is just so incredible to think about. So why hold back? I've added 34 partners and quite a few customers uh, over the next few months that it, after I kind of lit that fire under myself and 
found that deep why within myself. And I just turned on the switch to fearlessly share. I've been so inspired by what's been happening. I used to be afraid of sharing Juice Plus and sharing the business. I did not want to come across salesy. I didn't want people to be annoyed with me or think that I was just in it for money. What eventually happened with me was that love started to override, override all of my fear. My love for helping others, my love for sharing great health, my love for inspiring healthy living, my love for life just took over all those fears. And to me, taking that chance of putting myself out there is worth it if I can help someone. If I get 10 no's and one yes, that one yes makes it all worth it. And that being said, I want you to think about what would happen if you let go of your fear. I want you to sit with the feelings of what it would be like to change someone's life, to help someone feel better, to help someone live better. That feeling makes everything worth it strip down that wall of fear and just step into love. Love on your family, love on your friends, share with them because you could be missing out on something so great if you let that fear rule you. Sorry, had to unmute myself. I love that. So when I saw Molly after the Jammer Regional, I saw something totally change in her. It was just a shift. It was just on social media again. I didn't know her personally. So let me ask you this, Molly, because you really worked on your story for the Pajama Regional. So tell me, without a story, like how, how do you even share Juice Plus, right? How are you, how are you doing that? Yeah, I, I, before I really figured out my deep why in that story, I felt like it was just hard to speak about it. I would kind of word vomit to people and talk too much and not have um, clarity or direction with where I was going. Um, and it just helped me to have that foundation. And you know what I love? And I don't know if anybody heard this in there, but you got really excited when you got your own result. Like you, it was with, with your surgery and all, right? You got really, really excited about that. And I think that's the power. So if you're on and you're a customer, you're just taking Juice Plus, you probably have a powerful story too. And just sharing that light and love with others so that they know that there's a way that they can get healthier. So a couple more questions really quick. So after we were working together, you know, looking back and looking at your story and all, was there an aha moment? Was there a time in there where you're like, yes, this makes sense, a story, I can do this. Yeah, definitely. And once we kind of nailed that down, I just felt like I could talk to people with so much more clarity and purpose and I could share in such a more concise way. And it was a little more relatable for people too because I think when people hear my story, they could think of something they've gone through in the past where it could help them or something could come up in the future they want to help them. So very true. I'm doing technology at the same time. Um, so very true. And you know, what's interesting is that a lot of times we, we just start sharing features. We immediately go to, oh, it's fruits and vegetables and berries and a capsule and all the things. But really, we want to get to the emotion. So I'll just tell you all really quickly um, what we did was, and, and now Molly's doing it with her friends and her team, is asking, how did that make you feel? How did that make you feel? And asking those questions really peels away those layers and gets to the heart of it because it's all and I'll tell you when you started talking about love everybody started commenting in in there people relate to the the emotion in that okay so last question so you you shared your story in front of 10,000 people online amazing so how do you feel today how are you feeling about you know sharing with people and all the things just so motivated, so inspired, just so excited, giddy, confident, <laughs> all of those words clumped together. Uh, it's, it's just been great. It really has been a game changer. I love it. And so that's what we want to share. That's what we want you all to take away from this. And Molly came on pregnant as can be, has got to get up really early in the morning. And just because the power lies within you to share your story. And all you have to do is think about love, sharing with others with love. And we so appreciate you, Molly. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you, girl. All right, love. Let me pop us off here. Bye. All right. Hang on. Cheryl, I'm bringing you up. Oh, my goodness. I lost Cheryl. There she is. I'm Sorry, here. you guys. Somewhere. <laughs> I'm no, and you're here. 
And that was beautifully done as well. Again, I think, you know, what to underscore there is people listen to your feelings much more so than they do words or information. Uh, they are listening to your heart. I think one of the things I, I noticed with Molly is she, she consolidated it to the feeling aspect. And feeling doesn't mean that you have to have uh, some huge result uh, that's a physical result. The feeling is, you know, what is it inside you that makes you feel happy or comfortable or secure uh, because of Juice Plus? And I think that's what she's become very good at, you know, really consolidating that so that other people can identify with it and step into that picture. I also love that, you know, it, you got past the fear of sharing it with people. I'm looking at Molly right now there on the screen, but as she's shaking her head, yes, she got past the fear. And I think that's why it's good to speak with your, um, the person that you're working with, the upline, uh, you know, whoever it is that's helping you with shaping your story uh, so that, you know, you can, you can step past that fear. I read recently that everything we want in life lies on the other side of our fears. So I work at that all the time, trying to get past those things that, you know, uh, are fearful because for me, and we all have them. Uh, but really, as you've heard tonight from the stories, just huge differences in people's lives. Uh, and it's, it's up to us. And you can, everyone has a feeling about the product, why they love it, why they started on it, why they want to have it in their lives forever. And it's really that feeling, transferring that feeling that makes all the difference. So thank you, Molly and, and Courtney, both for sharing. And now we're going to go to uh, Beth Meyer. And Beth and I are going to talk a little bit about sharing uh, the story and the example of sharing the story. Uh, it's, it's really an honor to me what she's going to say, but it also, um, you know, is pretty exemplary of what we all do at this point uh, after you've been at this a while and you've decided what your story is. Uh, Beth is someone I've worked closely with as well. Uh, she's a mom uh, to 21-year-old Sydney, who I know is the love of her life, her daughter. She's an international marketing director, and she's been with the Juice Plus Company for 17 years. Uh, and I think you're from, are you from Connecticut? <laughs> Is that where you're from? I am. Okay, I got that right. <laughs> really good. Uh, and so the thing about the Juice Plus business is we're not only virtual, but we see each other all over the country when we're out and about. So sometimes it's hard to remember exactly uh, where people are from. But I know her from being working in New York. So uh, Beth, maybe you'll share our experience. Oh, I sure will. And it's so, this is really interesting. So as I'm listening tonight, this whole thing came together and I kind of knew what I was going to say, but now I really know what I'm going to say. So, you know, in that video, we just saw it was all about what if, and then at the end, Lauren says, well, you know, just say yes. Well, I had an opportunity. It's going back a couple of years now, but Cheryl Cortese, who is just, if you don't know her, you have to know her. She's just amazing. Um, and she really is somebody that has shaped my life in so many ways. And I really look up to her. So don't mean to embarrass you, but really oh, I do. Just a little embarrassed. Um, <laughs> and so she was going to be speaking in New York. I live in Connecticut. And to me, that was an opportunity of a lifetime, really, to be able to just even spend any part of any day with her. But I didn't realize when I got there, I was only going to be Cheryl and I, which was like, just magic. I mean, I can't think of anything more exciting. I mean, that's like a day with Mickey Mouse for me. I mean, it's more, it's, it's everything. So here I am in New York City with Cheryl Cortese. And so now I'm sort of, she talks about facing fears. Now I'm alone with her. And that's kind of scary, exciting, but a little scary. Because in my, you know, she's uh, way up here to me and I get to spend the day with her. Well, she, what Cheryl taught me that day are the things that our business is really made of. And she integrated them all. To me, it was seamless. But when I step back and I really look at it, it was everything that I needed. And it's carried me through all of these years. And I'll share them. I'll share with you exactly what happened that day. But the, the things that are integral parts of our business and necessary, certainly for anybody who wants to grow anything really big or small, but certainly if you want this to be big, it's got to be integrated into your life. It has to be fun. It has to be about relationships because we, we heard from Hamilton, we heard from everybody tonight. It's about serving other people, so, you know, stepping, stepping outside yourself a little bit, stepping into helping other people. 
And that happens through relationships and getting to know people and people getting to know you, trust you, like you, all of those things. So keeping it fun, relationships. And then there's something else that that third party validation, having somebody outside of yourself amening you. And we've had a lot of that tonight. We've had videos, we've had Dr. Paul, we've heard all of these stories. So here I am in New York and Cheryl says to me, let's go get something to eat at my favorite place. And I'm like, okay, now we're going to go do something that's not business. Um, okay, let's go. Um, so here she is. She's beautifully dressed, happy as could be smiling. And she said, let's just stop by the office downstairs. She needed to pick something up in the hotel office or needed to set something up for we walk into the office and they all know her by name, which was very telling to me. She made a point of knowing who people were. She knew their names. They knew hers. Um, she took care of whatever the business was at hand, keys for night, whatever she needed for the room. And then she said, oh, and you know what? Company president's going to be in, in tonight speaking up, at, up in my room. We have a little event going on and I'd love to have you as my guest. Would you, would you come as my guest? And that was great. It was amazing the way she did it. It was incredible to watch, just watch her in action. And then she turns to me and she says, she came all the way from Connecticut. Tell them a little bit about yourself. And I was like, oh, Cheryl wants me to talk. Um, okay. So introverted me now has to talk and be Cheryl's sort of third party person. We leave there and now we're walking to the Donna Karen store on, in New York City and clothe, beautiful clothing store, if you don't know what it is. Um, that you will used to be. We walk in and Cheryl again, op the door opens and everybody knows her by name and they greet her by name. She greets them by name. And one by one, she invites every single person as we go. And it was just conversational, just kind of fit in. And she did it beautifully. And then she would introduce me and I would talk a little bit. And then we walk upstairs and she goes, they had a beautiful lunch counter and sat down and he said, would you like what you usually get? So he knew her, she knew him. I mean, it was just, it was all, it was fun. It was exciting. I learned a tremendous amount from her. It was woven into her everyday life. It seemed so seamless to me, but it wasn't that it was seamless. It was just that it was how Cheryl has lived her life for so many years that it truly has become part of her. And so maybe like you and I tie our shoes or do other things, this was so woven in and just part of who she was. And it taught me a lot that day and just what being a professional means, just what you know, if any of you know Cynthia Gomper, she always talks about being dressed for success. And it's sometimes it's literally how you look, but it's also how you carry yourself and how you show up ready for conversations, listening to people, meeting needs of other people. And I just, that is a day I will always treasure and was so incredibly impactful. But I hope that all of you integrate those things into your, your business and your life, fun relationships, it's got to be part of your every day and it has to be fun and serving other people. Otherwise, you probably won't want to do it. Um, so Cheryl, thank you for that. And, and that's a sweet story. And I have to share with all of you, you know, Beth was my ameneer that day. Everybody needs an ameneer, okay? And so I saw it as a perfect opportunity uh, to not only invite everybody. And we had many of those people showed up, you know, just a lot of them showed up. But, you know, one of the things as we were talking about this, um, Beth and I, is that my objective when I go out and about, I mean, we all have places we go. Uh, I stay in the same hotel usually if I'm traveling uh, so that I get to know the people there. I really work at forming community everywhere I go. Uh, community, uh, you know, wherever you shop, uh, wherever you eat. Uh, wherever you your day is, you know, I form community at the at the cleaners. Uh, you know, what is your daily routine? If you form community, and basically for me, that's getting to know people, getting to know their names, calling them by name. You know, after I've gone there a few times, I want to know about their children. You know, what's their life like? How are they doing right now? Just to say to someone, you know, how are you doing? How is how is life working out right now? We're all in such strange times. So when you build community, then when an event comes along, it's not necessarily that I'm going to, you know, talk about Juice Plus the first time or the second time. It might be two or three times after I've, you know, gone to a place or been in a place. Now, most of the people in that Donna Karen store she referred to know that I market something called Juice Plus, but I really hadn't had an event to invite them to until that until that moment that was something that was really 
you know, going to give them a full picture. Some of them were already on Juice Plus, but the whole idea was, you know, how do we continue to expand? How do we continue to invite people to partner with us? You know, what is the process? And it is a process. So Beth, you were a great ameter that day and she didn't know she was gonna be the ameter. But the other thing is when two tell the story, it's so powerful. You know, for me to be able to turn to her and say, Beth, you know, share with them, you know, what you've come up for the event, you know, uh, what do you like about the product? What's, you know, what's important to you about this product for you and your family? Or why do you like being, Beth and I have been in business now together for however long it was at that moment. And we both really enjoy what we do. So to have that, that partner, Jay Martin, our company president always says, you know, get a buddy. And so anytime you can get a buddy and go shopping or go out to eat or, you know, go wherever you like to go, but then have that conversation where you're letting your buddy validate what you have to say. It can be really, really powerful. So, and again, you know, once you feel really comfortable about your story, what, you know, what you heard from Courtney and as they were sharing with you, she and Molly, is that, you know, it kind of got those, you know, key bullet points down so that you have that story ready to share when the opportunity arises. So that's what I think really it means to be dressed for success is that you're you're ready with the story. So thank you, Beth, and thank you for this sweet story because I didn't really know about this story <laughs> until she until she shared it with me that it, you know, you never know too uh, how it's going to affect someone else as you work with them. So now as we get to the end of the program, I promised you you were going to hear from someone who was in the what if video. But now it's many years later. In the video, you saw her basically as, you know, very young, just, you know, maybe just above babyhood. And then from babyhood, uh, you know, on to young uh, child. Uh, and from young child on to, uh, you know, growing up. So <clears throat> she is uh, someone who was a good friend of Lauren Lahav. You saw Lauren uh, and in the video, what if? And there she is again, <laughs> okay? So I'm going to let Lauren inter introduce these two really amazing women. It's a mom and a daughter. And then we'll come back and they'll tell you their story. So Lauren. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, everybody. This is so um, surreal for me right now because it's 14 years ago, Cheryl, this week. I think that I found out about uh, Juice Plus from you guys and um. It was crazy because um, I was actually working the event that I'm working now, but then um, I was there because I had to work the event, not because I wanted to work the event. So I'm just so grateful to you, Cheryl, and to Jeff and everybody for bringing this amazing um, thing. And so I, I just want to give a little background um, about that, just related to that. I had every excuse not to go to conference. And um, a friend of mine who you also saw in the video, her name was is Amanda Brink, and she was she uh, was diagnosed with lupus at age 26. And um, I'm Jeff's like, just come to this event. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get Jeff Roberti off my back. And I decided two days later to go to conference um, and showed up at conference in Memphis. And when I was there, all I thought about, who did I know, love and care about that I really wanted better health for um, and better, you know, just, just a better quality of life. And the very first person that came to mind without me crying, um, was Mickey. Mickey is probably one of the most amazing women I've ever met in my entire life. Um, she suddenly, I mean, she shared, suddenly lost her husband um, and she was left with uh, two babies, the two twin, you know, twins, Aurora and Bella. And um, Aurora has spinal muscular atrophy, as you know, the number one genetic killer of kids under the age of three. And um, Aurora was just a baby then, as you know, and what's really cool about this whole thing is Aurora and her sister Bella just turned 18. And um, I just, uh, I am just so, so grateful. And I remember one time that Mickey said to me, I, I saw that Aurora had gone to the hospital once and she's like, Lauren, you don't get it. It's okay. She hasn't been to the hospital all year long. <laughs> and this is the only trip that we've had to take. And it wasn't even a big deal. And because it's just plus. So 
um, first of all, happy birthday. If we could wish a Roy, if you're jumping off the line, you're missing out. And um, I will say this is, I believe, if you want to strengthen like why we do what we do, and if there's some part of you that I promise you this story will inspire you how just one person, one person, sharing this is one person makes it all worthwhile. So um, happy birthday, my beautiful friend and your sister. And Mickey, I'm just grateful for your friendship and thank you for trusting me when um, I mentioned Juice Plus. And Aurora, one of my favorite videos is still as you as a little girl, I think you were five, showing how you <laughs> took the capsules. So I'll share that with everybody to see, um, to show you. So happy birthday, there's a gift coming from me and Cheryl's gonna introduce you, so and ask and interview you all. Thank you. Uh, I, it's a great honor for me and thank you, Lauren. And uh, again, uh, Mickey, I would like for you to share and then Aurora for you to share as well. Uh, I, it, it's what makes it all worth it is that I get to know uh, you all, I get to know folks like you and and I'm so admiring of both of you, so admiring of both of you. And uh, when Aurora was five years old, I think you were about five or six, you came to our stage there at the conference and she spoke to us then as well. And we're just so proud to be involved in your story. So Mickey, maybe you can tell how, uh, what happened. I think Lauren called you from conference. Is that right? Because Lauren wasn't a team member at the time that she right. called you. So, yeah. Share with us, let's hear, let's hear the story. And then I want Aurora to tell us a little bit about her life and what's going on. Yeah, Lauren called me and she's like, Nikki, oh my gosh, you know, Jeff roberti has been talking to me and he, for years he's been trying to get me to do this. And I finally came and she goes, all I kept thinking about the whole time they were talking at conference was we've got to get Aurora on this, like how much this would impact Aurora's life to get on Juice Plus. And I said, you know, I listened to her and she talked about Amanda getting on it and Aurora getting on it and just how she felt like this was going to really make a difference in Aurora's life. And um, for years, they had told us that Aurora wouldn't make it to be a teenager. Like they basically told us in the beginning, go home and plan her funeral, just live, you know, plan her funeral, have everything lined up, but live for today and don't necessarily plan on tomorrow. And we yes, told them to suck it. We did, yes. And <laughs> yesterday she turned 18 years old. Oh, just congratulations and happy birthday. And I'm so happy to be at this birthday gathering here and that you all are here and joining us. So that's so wonderful. Uh, Aurora, tell us a little bit about, you know, I understand that you have uh, plans to for college. This is your senior year, is that right? Am I right about that? Yeah, it's scary. <laughs> It's going to be wonderful. Tell, uh, I'm pretty excited about where you're thinking of going to college. You want to share with folks where that might be? Yeah, all of a sudden, just like in my emails, in, in my Google emails, which I don't normally check, especially not for, especially not for like college stuff, because they just throw it, spam you and stuff. It just said LSU. And, and I'm like, hmm, this looks this looks interesting and I don't know what stood out stood out to me but but it was just well it was I I also it was a, it was like a list of the majors and and, and programs that they did mm -hmm. and, and and so I'm just like oh I might as well scan through this list check everything out and 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 I go through and it's and it's just like I don't want to do uh I don't want to do this or this or this but then I'm like hmm science is good I like science and so I scroll through the website and eventually it it says something like biochemist and that that sort of goes with juice plus two I wasn't I wasn't actually thinking about juice plus though <laughs> and that and that and it says that and the college and lsu says it's it's a very good area for that a very good college for that kind of thing and biochemistry would let me help would let me help a lot of people like genetics 
and I was thinking, and, and also like thinking about treatments or working out treatments for diseases like, like mine, like as a, like for S diseases like SMA. Well, I, I love it. I, when you were sharing with me today that you wanted something in the way of biochemistry or genetics and things of that nature, I think that's amazing. I think you're a great gift uh, to all of us and you'll be a great gift to people ongoing. Um, I love LSU too, what she's talking about. I'm from Louisiana and I grew up in right I, I, a few towns away from Baton Rouge, but uh, LSU is a great school. And uh, I think that that'll be a perfect place if you happen to choose that. So uh, just really happy for you. And we're just so proud. We're so proud we know you and that we, uh, we get to be part of your success and your journey in a little way here with the Juice Plus product. And so I understand it's been part of your life now. Uh, how long have, have you been? You've been on Juice Plus now, what, 13? Since, since Lauren's been in Juice Plus, yes. Since yeah. the very first day before Lauren even became, that's something I think it's important to hear as well. You heard Lauren say she stretched out to the people she loved and cared about. And, and she did that even for a team member. And, you know, really, Aurora, your desire to stretch out to people who could, you know, be better because of your studies and the things that you're going to do with your life, I think is a wonderful mission. And we're just really proud to uh, know you and to be part of that and that you're part of, you're part of our success as well, really are. So thank you so much for being with us and sharing with us. Anything else anybody wants to share? Are y'all good? Yeah, there's been times that, you know, I think the first, the longest stretch in the beginning was like three years that she didn't go in the hospital. And before I was even pregnant, a friend told me about Juice Plus and her, her pediatrician had put her son on it because he didn't eat fruits and vegetables. And she said he stopped going to sick visits. And so when Lauren called me and told me about Juice Plus, I'm like, this is something I definitely need to get into. And so I, I put a, both of the girls on it. And back then her twin sister was doing the gummies, but um, Aurora being that she got the, um, you know, the G tube, we were able to put it directly into her, her stomach without her having to swallow them. But Lauren has a video of Aurora swallowing capsules at a very young age as well. And then Bella had to swallow capsules because she couldn't be beat out by her sister. But there's been times that we go five, six years without hospitalizations. And I got to find some wood to knock on because, you know, that whole thing about knocking on wood or jinxing something. But we, I tell you, for years, I've told people like juice plus is why she stayed so healthy and we double up, you know, on times of sickness. We, if somebody's, if a nurse is sneezing or coughing, yeah, we, we double up on it. You know, we just, it's something that we truly believe in. I mean, you see, she's 18 years old and they told me she'd never make it to be a teenager. And so we, she proved them wrong you know, and I really think that Juice Plus has made such a difference in her life and her health. And so I'm, I'm so proud of that. Well, and I couldn't be happier that here we are 13 years later, and we're talking about a wonderful success story and just very, very happy to be part of that. And uh, looking forward to all the great things that we'll hear going forward in the future, Aurora, because uh, I want to hear about that LSU experience as you go through it. I make it maybe I can visit you. I would love for you to visit me, <laughs> okay, anytime. So I'll, I'll look forward to hearing more from you all as time goes on. And we're just very blessed that you came to our call and shared with us tonight. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Thank you. And happy birthday. Happy, happy Thank birthday. <laughs> and for everyone on the line, uh, it's been an honor to have all of you with us. Uh, we've, it's really been, a, I think, a wonderful experience that we're able to have this together virtually. Uh, and to, in times like this, get to meet and uh, hear great stories uh, and at the same time be part of that joy and success that other people are experiencing with what we have to offer. So tonight, I think the, uh, the main uh, story, the, really the, the main thing that we would like to get across is that, you know, the product is powerful. It does amazing things when people have a foundation for good health. 
and they can really utilize that. It is something that really does make a difference in your immune system and you being in control and taking uh, part of, in your own journey as far as, as Hamilton said, taking control of your own health uh, and in a simple way. So for you, those of you on the line tonight, let's all really have the courage to shape our stories, to make sure that we find those ways to get out and have the courage to share it with everyone we come across because you don't know whose life you'll totally change uh, by just doing that one thing, telling the story. So again, uh, great to have everyone on the line with us tonight and we'll look forward to hearing you next Monday night and meeting like this in person about every two months or so. We're looking at uh, November the 29th is our next uh, gathering on virtual uh, Zoom and we'll look forward to that. You're gonna love that one as well. So good night, everyone. And for all of those of you who spoke, we really appreciate you. And we uh, appreciate all the people who helped us put this together tonight. Thank you so much. Good night, everyone. Courtney, thank you. Good night.